Good morning, everybody. Thanks for joining us this morning. Uh, so today we're going to have Richard Long. He's another product manager with Fire. He's going to do today's presentation. So without further ado, let me hand it over to Richard and uh, let's begin. Welcome, everybody. Um, we're going to be doing Annex 6100 PPC 6000 introduction. The FireEye Nexus PP6000 is a microprocessor-based standalone parallel positioning controller with enhanced features built into a compact user-configurable package. The FireEye Nexus NX6100 adds integrated flame safeguard along with the digi additional digital inputs for enunciation. Both controls have the option to add VFD, O2 trim, draft control, up to three element water level control, total dissolved solids, blow down, and plant master control for additional sequencing scenarios for up to 10 steam boilers. It's an electronic fuel air ratio control and it works for all burners. The Nexus system also includes two PID loops for firing rate control it measures and displays the real-time presence of temperature of the boiler, allows you to set a desired temperature or pressure, automatically provides the lowest burning firing rate to meet the desired value at all times. The control can also accept external control signals like a 4 to 20 milliamp to tell it which PID to use and or accept a 4 to 20 milliamp for track modulation from external PID controls. The NX6100 out of the box is configured the same as a FireEye EP160 on the flame monitor or a YP138 on the burner logics. It can be configured for special applications such as early spark termination, long or short pre-purge, extended post-purge, etc. Two PID has two independent PID loops, a proportional, integral, and derivative. It compensates for changing load conditions. There's four profiles. You can do multiple fuels, such as gas and oil, uh, one with VFD, one without VFD, or fuels with four different variations, any combination thereof. It's a map of the servos, flame scanner input, MMI, and sensors what a full system might look like. Picture the servo motor showing the end switch. We can do up to 10 servo motors per profile. 24 volt servo motors are powered. Power supply is built in, in the NX6100. It's a simple four wire connection, two wires for 24 volts and two wires for CAN bus. They come in Torque ranges of 3 foot-pounds, 7 foot-pounds, 15 foot-pounds, and 30 foot-pounds. There's also an additional CAM bus hub that can be added for power, power supply for additional servos, allowing for more servos when exceeding the onboard power supply of the NX6100. The NX6100 and the PPC6000 have built-in four boiler sequencing. An analog sensor may be fitted for fuel valve leak testing, cycling upstream and downstream fuel valves during purge. There's a new display, the NX6220 and the NX6330 keypad display. They replace the old NX6110 and the NX610, which are now obsolete. The NX6220 has a 12 key with four line OLED, fault history, program backup, and a USB port. The NX6330 is a 12 key with four line OLED, also doing fault history, program backup, in addition to a USB port, an Ethernet port, allowing for Modbus RTU, TCP IP, and BACnet IP also required uh, for the water level control. Our color touchscreen, some set, 
examples of the different screenshots that you might see. That's your control screen, fault logging screen. That's how you change your burner settings. It's your commissioning screen. A trend screen that can be set up for any trends that you might want to do. The NXT SD color touch screen, you have upload, download capability, program backup, USB port, Ethernet port, Modbus RTU, TCP IP, and BACnet IP, and also is required for the water level control. O2, we have O2 trim, O2 trim continuous and automatic combustion control. Trim can add up to 2 to 5 percent fuel savings per year. Uh, trim keeps emissions low and under control. Uses proven technology zirconium probe, fast response, fast to stabilize. No moving parts, no pumps required. No tube sample lines to block up. Display shows O2 exhaust temperature, and combustion efficiency. Uses a heated zirconium probe. It's 20 year proven technology. It's a separate interface, it's an EMA 12. It can be in the panel or outside of the panel. Simple wiring, 24 volt power supply, CAN bus interface, and you can also use a third party probe connected via 4 to 20 milliamp. So pictorial of, of the system. We also have variable speed drive capability. We also uh, provide a FireEye drive. It's ABB manufactured with the FireEye drive's preloaded options. Variable speed drive offers increased turndown ratio, saves fuel, saves electricity approximately 42%, reduces acoustic level in the boiler room. In fact, the combustion air fan is always sized for the maximum burner output plus losses. In general, most burners spend less than 5% at maximum burner. So by using a VFD, this is where you get your electricity savings. Requires using an NXD BVSD daughter board. It allows for two VFDs, additional analog I.O., and the Modbus RTU is on board the daughter board. ABB is FireEye standard regarding VFDs. We have excellent support. And the program, it's pre-programmed with all the data. All you need to do is add the motor data. We are, again, able to do Modbus RTU TCP BACnet and also have a software uh, program called ComFire2 for data acquisition. So basic application, it's a fuel error ratio control, modulation control, burner management and flame safeguard, gas valve leak testing, running interlock and enunciation, sequencing, thermal shock protection, warming, three analog IL, alarm message library, four profiles, 24 discrete positions per profile, two PID set points per profile, track modulation, flame detection, UV, UV self-check, IR, and FireEyes integrated flame scanners, such as the Signature and Insight. You upload, download via USB, options and profiles via barcode using app, communications to DDC and PLC, using Modbus RTU, TCP, and BACnet. O2 measurement, display and trim, water level, total dissolved solids, draft control, variable speed drive control, plant master, ComFire 2, window-based software. And I'll leave you with that, and this concludes the... So if, if anybody has does have any questions, we have time to take questions. So I'm gonna to try to find the chat here. If anybody wants to ask a question on the chat, 
we can uh, try to answer that for you right now. All right, well, if nobody has any questions, thanks again for joining in today, and we'll hopefully see you next time we have one of these meetings. Have a good rest of your day.